Welcome to uh, GVN Interviews. Uh, I'm here with Jeff Daniel Phillips, aka Herman Munster. Um, actually, just got this uh, today. Nice. Um, gotta say, loved the movie, uh, loved you in it. Um, so uh, my first one is a, a, a two-part question. Um, what was it like playing such an uh, iconic character and uh, how much of that personality, uh, your own personality, did you uh, put into that? Uh, it's completely myself and no, <laughs> I don't know. Uh, uh, I guess it's, uh, you know, it's a, uh, you approach it like any character. You, you try to draw some things from yourself. I, I definitely is, uh, as growing up, I was a wisecracker and class clown and, so I, I could draw from that, but um, uh, yeah, I, I we were basing it on the iconic TV show, so we we tried to make it ourselves, make our make our own version of the iconic character. So um, I'm sure there's a lot of me in there. You can you can ask my friends, I guess. <laughs> Yeah, well, and, uh, you know, just kind of like the original series, you know, Herman Munster loves his dad jokes. Um, so, you know, was any of, of that um, like ad libbed or was that all like in the script? No, I'd say most everything was in the script and they weren't dad jokes because he's not a father yet. So uh, they were just vaudevillian type jokes. And if in the show, you could see in the movie, you could see that. He has the brain of a stand-up comic, you know, Shecky. So that's where that jokes and the vaudeville type feel come from. Um, and then obviously later in life, he has a kid. So, yeah. Yeah. And I really love, um, you know, Shecky's uh, file photo uh, on the news. Like that's it's pretty Yeah, we did a whole stand-up act. We did, I mean, I, I don't know if that'll ever be anywhere, but we did a whole stand-up act that I learned and... Um, we did a, I did a beatbox thing as Shecky, but I don't think that made the cut. Uh, yeah, he was a full form character. Nice. Um, now you worked with Rob Zombie many times. Uh, what is it about the um, director that kind of keeps you coming back? Well, uh, that he asked me first, but um, he, uh, he, he's just a very passionate guy about his projects and he, and he really believes in the performance. He loves character actors. He likes to create an environment and he wants you, when you watch his films, he, he, he wants you to invest in the characters, whether they're the villain or the, you know, the victim, he, he, he's all about performance. So yeah, it's, it's an actor's dream to be in working with a director like that. He likes to collaborate. He's loyal and he's, he's just a good guy. Nice. And, you know, you can really tell, like, he's a big horror fan. I'm assuming you're a, a big horror fan as well. Yeah, I definitely grew up watching it. Uh, uh, probably not as much as him, but um, yeah, it, it, me was more classic horror and, and the makeup and the creating the creatures. I was all about that as a kid. Yeah, because I actually um, I saw in another interview that you uh, are a sculptor, right? Yes, I uh, I went to school for for art, printmaking, sculpture. Um, yeah, so that I, we have that in common. He's he's also an artist, Rob. He paints. He does all the graphics. If any movie you see, a, a, a T-shirt someone's wearing, he usually designs it. He's he has his hand in everything: the costumes, the backgrounds, the there's an album covers. You name it. He's he's the guy. Speaking of, I mean, this bad boy. Nice, nice. <laughs> um, yeah, so, um, yeah, I, I got to say, um, I know we're talking monsters, but uh, one of my favorite um, of your collaborations was uh, Lords of Salem. I think that's a masterpiece. Yeah, it's weird that, uh, you know, I go to these conventions, especially when there's a project like this, and I try to promote as much as I can. And Lords of Salem is one of those things that just keeps building. I don't know. People just find that like almost like comfort food. They watch it like, you know, monthly or weekly or whatever. They just really lose themselves in it. And they, they find something else they, they, they like about it. He, he created something great in that movie. And like 
when we screened it in Toronto, he went out in front of everyone and said, half of you people are, are going to hate this and half of you people might like it. And he was right. You know, some people were like, this isn't a Rob Zombie film. And they're very angry. And the other half were like, I don't know what just happened, but I got to see this film again, you know? Um, and, and we were all kind of lost in it when we made it. It was, it was a, it was a challenging one. It was great. Yeah. Um, really fantastic. And again, I love the Munsters. Uh, I, I, I think one of my favorite scenes is the dinner scene when you're um, talking to, um, you know, of course, uh, Lily, aka Sherry, uh, Zombies Air, and, you know, Daniel Roebuck, and uh, you tell that joke um, about the crotchety uh, vampire. <laughs> I love that. Yeah, that was good. That was, I would, uh, you know, those kind of scenes with uh, Dan, we didn't have many, but we definitely uh, like to bounce off each other. And, you know, he's playing the straight man a lot. So, but it was fun. It was fun. And that scene too, I think it starts off and he's, you get the sense that he's trying to figure out who he is and he, these things just come to his brain and he can't, you know, he's always amazed because he was just created and he's trying to figure it all out. Unlike the TV Herman, um, who's fantastic. Fred Gwynn's the master, but he was more established. He was, he was married. He was, he had a job. He had a kid. This Herman is trying to figure it out. He's trying to find his voice. Things are coming to him. He knows jokes. He, he's, he's in this big muscular body he's never had before. And then, you know, obviously he meets her and he figures out life and what he thinks is life. Um, so that's, that was the approach of it. And that scene is kind of, it has a little bit of that. He's, he's trying to figure it out in front of her. Yeah, and it was uh, great talking to uh, Daniel Probuck. He he was super nice, and um, you know I also kind of had to mention that scene. And again, I, I think y'all uh, definitely do play off each other, each other so well. Um, you know, I guess just not only um, does uh, the makeup kind of help you inform the character, but like the sets as well. I mean, like the set design is is I think next kind of next level. Yeah, the set design, it, you know, and it's funny, you, you see comments right away out of the gate, like, how come it looks so cheap? And then if you, the sets were amazing. I mean, we were lucky in a weird way, it kept getting delayed, but all the um, the art department and costume department, they were on the payroll the whole time. So those delays just gave them more time to, to create more amazing sets. And they did. Um, yeah, you definitely lose yourself and even this this house was brilliant. Like you you couldn't believe they actually did that much detail to cre recreate this house that was at Universal Studios. Um, yeah, that helps. And then of course the makeup. Once you're in that outfit and you're looking at yourself in the mirror and you're trying to to work it and 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 move enough so you don't see where the seams are, or, you know details and, and trying to make the character come to life um yeah I think it all all helps you know feed how how you're going to make it work you know yeah and like speaking of outfits I, I gotta talk about the Herman Munster pimp outfit I think that's really amazing <laughs> yeah. um, that was out of left field too but that was great it was, those are those sight gags you just you know you just got to get out of the way and do your thing you know because they're going to sell it no matter what they're just so over the top yeah and you know it's so funny because i'm you know uh as, as all of you are, are such a huge fan of the original series and like you know uh that show was definitely goofy uh as hell but it was just fun and i think i i feel like you all kind of nailed that tone yeah i hope so i mean we definitely it's just a big cartoon fun ride come to life you know um, yeah, and the fact that it's in Transylvania, most of it, you could really push the push the limits, you know, it's not like the TV show, where they're in Hollywood or wherever they're at Mockingbird Lane. When it comes to the majority of the film, you're you're in these crazy worlds that, you know, came out of Rob's head. It was great. Now, uh, you had a, a really great duet with uh, Sherry. Um, what was that like? Is that is that really awkward to kind of do those scenes like singing? I feel like singing is kind of awkward anyways. Um, so we recorded a lot of that stuff almost a year ago. Um, 
and it was at Rob's house. And uh, he has a studio set up, but like I, I was singing in the closet, you know, for sound reasons. And uh, and she would lay her stuff down first, and then I did mine. So uh, no, I think we both. She's had more experience than I have, um, but it, it was fun. No, I, I really enjoyed it. it. All the songs that we sang. I don't know what's going to be on the soundtrack, but we. I think I made about at least a half dozen songs with and without her so yeah she's she's actually a good singer she's she's really good nice um did you get to keep any of your um monster costume or anything it's funny um uh rob said that i because i've worked behind the camera and art departments and you know i'm always very nervous and respectful of taking anything because i know then they're responsible like I used to be. Um, so I never even thought of it. And I, I tend to never take anything. So, uh, but Rob goes, are you going to grab any of your Herman stuff? One of the, this is the last night. And I go, well, I, I didn't really think of it. I mean, I have the boots. He gave me the boots because I had them before we started just to practice. Um, and so I go, oh, maybe I will. So I, I go to the costume department. I go, hey, I, do you have that, um, that leather jacket that Herman was wearing. And he goes, no, Rob got it already. So, <laughs> so I think he got all the good stuff. And he asked me after he already, uh, you know, he got the good stuff first. And then I, I don't know what, if it was a sick joke or what. But <laughs> I ended up not getting really anything. So um, what was like, uh, did you have a favorite scene to do? Um, there was one, there was two scenes. I, I, I thought when he first, first meets Lily at, at the club uh, in the doorway and they kind of lay eyes on each other and he, he just is struck with lightning by her beauty and, and that was sweet. And then when we were all at the Halloween in front of uh, the Munster's house, the mansion, and in the neighborhood and it was Halloween and all the costumes and I mean, there was cranes with lights and there's Rob and, and we're dancing around and there's Cassandra Peterson, uh, you know, you know, part of this whole scene. And I just thought that was so much fun and surreal. And you really felt like otherworldly, like we really actually pulled this off and, you know, Rob, Rob did an amazing job. And, and I don't know, we just, it was fun. We were all engulfed at, just love and dancing and fun and clowning around. And I, I don't know, it was surreal. The whole thing was surreal at that point. Now, uh, this does have cameos from the um, original uh, cast, uh, the remaining anyways, um, uh, Butch Patrick and Pat Priest. Um, I'm assuming, did they come to the, did you guys have a premiere? No, I've, never, I've never met either one of them. Uh, I look forward to meeting uh, Butch because he comes to some of the conventions. And I'm still going out there trying to promote it. Um, so hopefully I cross paths with them soon. Um, nice. I've never um, met Pat either. So maybe I'll see her someday. Yeah, I, I was fortunate enough to meet Butch Patrick. He was a heck of a nice guy. Um, yeah. Everything, and, uh, all the interviews I see with him, he's just such a charming, like giving, yeah. friendly dude. So I, I look forward to meeting him. I know he's friends with uh, Rob and uh, Dan too. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, uh, you know, speaking of that, like, uh, you know, I saw some of like Dan's uh, collection, like memorabilia collection. That's like mind blowing. Yeah, that's what him and Rob have in common in the beginning. I think that's how they first met. Oh, nice. Um, yeah, and such a big personality too. Like, I can definitely like see him as like the Count. You know, um, like he was hilarious like I, ha I I have this like coffee mug that he like was was saying it was my my giant Alice in Wonderland situation I don't know <laughs> but um so uh you know I don't want to uh take up too much more of your time but but you have a new uh, horror movie coming out um that is called uh Christmas Bloody Christmas uh what can you uh say about um the film and uh your character uh, I'll, I could say that um, he's another guy like a, like a Rob Zombie is very passionate filmmaker and his name is Joe Vegas and he writes, directs, he shoots, he shoots 16 millimeter. Um, he shot that movie 
he had eight weeks to shoot it because he's able to take the budget and make it work. Um, there's crazy explosions and all sorts of stuff. So that was fun to be part of that. I like the guy. He just gave me a call and I, I jumped in cause I, I met him years ago. So that was fun. And, um, yeah, I, I, I love when, you know, filmmakers are that passionate and it, like I say, it's contagious, their, their enthusiasm and you just want to make it work, you know? So that's the thing I have coming up that they're going to release. I think in the next week or two, uh, they're going to have a premiere. Uh, uh, I think Beyond Fest, I think. Yeah, which I, I look forward to seeing it. I haven't seen it yet. Nice. Um, uh, like, uh, who do you play in that? Are you, I'm not sure how much. Sheriff. I play Is a that, okay. sheriff. Yeah, nice. In the top. Um, I guess you can't say whether or not you make it out uh, in one piece. Uh, <laughs> um you know, it it sounds really awesome. Like I'm I'm definitely looking forward to that. And again, of uh, the monsters, I think it was awesome. Like I wrote a really glowing review because I think it's such a fun movie. It's one of those movies that like I'm excited to show my niece. Like uh, I recently showed her Abbott and Costello meet Frankenstein, and she loves that. Love that. So I feel like this kind of has that same sort of vibe. That's the reoccurring comment I keep saying at, at the cons. I see people say they've watched it with their father, or grandfather, or their kids. Uh, they want to revisit it with their grandfather, father, and their kids. They 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 just want to relive those moments when they watch the old TV show. So I mean, it's a sweet ride. It's just fun, family, campy, goofy humor, and there's a love story on top of it. So. Yeah, and I think like this is kind of a good primer. I mean, I, I feel like, you know, if I had never seen the series, I think this would be like a perfect kind of like lead up to actually watching the series. Um, so that's kind of what I'm hoping to do with my niece because she's a little horror fan in the making. So <laughs> yeah, perfect, perfect. Well, I think she'll dig it. She, yeah, I mean, it's definitely there's nothing too extreme and and I think uh, kids will like just the, the cartoony, crazy characters that are in it, you know? Yeah. Um, well, um, I think that's all I have. But gosh, thank you so much, man. Yeah, this was a lot you. of fun. Um, and uh, definitely, um, everybody check it out. This premieres on Netflix on uh, the 27th of this month. Um, the Blu-ray comes out the same day. Mm -hmm. get it it's awesome so, i look forward to seeing that behind the scenes i i've never seen that oh yeah i heard it's like an hour long like yeah. documentary that's yeah i'm always scared about those so <laughs> <laughs> hopefully, um, hopefully there's nothing too uh frightening yeah so good luck with your niece i think she'll she'll dig this oh thank you um and again uh thank you so much for taking the time yeah of course thank you